first time we saw Deadpool, also known as Wade Wilson, also known as the Merc with a Mouth, was in the widely criticized X-Men Origins Wolverine. The only thing that fans liked about that was Ryan Reynolds was a perfect match for the role, but they wanted him to wear the iconic red suit and use his trademark humor that breaks the fourth wall, which is what he does in the comics. It took seven years, but we finally got that with Deadpool in 2016, and then Deadpool 2 in 2018. Both movies are among the top-grossing R-rated movies ever, only surpassed by Joker. With that R rating, you can expect that the Deadpool movies have a lot of crude jokes and adult humor, which work well for a superhero parody that knows it's a movie. But then, things changed when Disney bought 20th Century Fox, who owned the X-Men characters, and all its properties in 2019. You picked the wrong shithole to fuck, Future Boy. Is that really necessary? This meant that the X-Men series from Fox came to an abrupt end, with X-Men Dark Phoenix and the New Mutants not getting much attention. While some fans might have been sad about that, Disney's big purchase also means the characters from the X-Men series can now join the MCU, and it's already happened with Evan Peters showing up in WandaVision as Quicksilver, even if it was kind of a joke, and then with Patrick Stewart coming back as Charles Xavier in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. The appearances of actors and characters from previous versions and other universes are not that surprising anymore in the current multiverse saga that is happening in the MCU. But when Ryan Reynolds posted an update for the long-awaited Deadpool 3 on his YouTube channel, he revealed a huge surprise that a certain hero with claws would be coming back. The update begins with Reynolds doing some everyday things, like working on his computer and exercising, and sometimes he seems to be wearing a Deadpool suit that looks a lot like the character's black and gray X-Force suit from the comics, which is one of his most popular outfits besides his regular suit. After adding some of his own aviation gin to a Deadpool mug, Reynolds then says that he doesn't have any ideas for the new movie, except for one thing. Right then, Hugh Jackman himself walks behind Reynolds like nothing's happening. Reynolds then asks, Hey Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Hugh says, Yeah, sure, Ryan. The amazing teaser ends with the tagline, coming hewn, and a poster featuring the Deadpool logo with a big Wolverine scratch through it. Less than a day later, Reynolds posted another video with him and Jackman trying to explain how Wolverine is back, after his death in Logan, but interrupted by the classic Wham! song, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Now even though we don't have a trailer yet, we do have a first look image from Deadpool 3 showing Wolverine in his classic yellow X-Men suit. Is Deadpool 3 set in the MCU? Deadpool 3 is being considered as a Marvel Studios production, with Kevin Feige, the head of Marvel Studios, confirming that it will be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This does not necessarily imply that the entire film will be set in the MCU. That appears to be the most plausible conclusion, but keep in mind that Spider-Man No Way Home previously featured characters from both the Sam Raimi and Mark Webb Spider-Man flicks. Deadpool 3 might be a similar circumstance in which characters from the 20th century crossover with characters from the MCU timeline, but only time will tell as storyline elements are still unknown. When and where is Deadpool 3 premiering? The release date for Deadpool 3 has changed two times. The film was initially announced for September 6, 2024, but it later changed, being pushed back to November 8, 2024. In a surprising announcement, Disney revealed that the film is being pushed up to May 4, 2024. That puts it as four months earlier than its initial release date. However, all that is up in the air now as a result of the WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes. Will Deadpool 3 be rated R? Former Walt Disney CEO Bob Iger and Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige have confirmed that the third Deadpool film will maintain its R rating, indicating potential for heavier violence and harsher language. This would make Deadpool 3 the first MCU film to receive a 17 or older rating, unless the upcoming Blade film, starring Mahershala Ali, also receives an R rating. The director of Deadpool 3 has confirmed that the movie will be adult-oriented. Wolverine's replacement could appear in Deadpool 3. Recently, a rumor stating that Daphne Keene's X-23 would appear in Deadpool 3 began gaining momentum. Keene debuted as X-23 Laura alongside Jackman's Wolverine in Logan. Her character is Logan's daughter, having been created in a lab by scientists using Wolverine's DNA, which gave the young hero the same powers that Wolverine possesses. Laura's appearance in Deadpool 3 would have to come from Deadpool and Wolverine visiting Logan's timeline, with that movie taking place in 2029, but Jackman has confirmed that Deadpool 3 takes place before Logan. Reynolds also confirmed 
that Deadpool 3 honors Logan's legacy, saying, we're completely protecting the legacy of Logan, the way it was left off. We wouldn't mess with that. Based on that, Keen is unlikely to return as Logan's X-23 in the film. Deadpool 3's multiverse story will have to end with Reynolds' Deadpool and perhaps Jackman's Wolverine in the MCU. However, that doesn't mean that the movie will not have a lot of fun with other Fox Marvel movies, even if Logan's not one of them. As there are several rumored characters to return in Deadpool 3, with the surprising reveal of Jennifer Garner's Elektra cameo helping fuel the rumors. Marvel still needs to deliver on X-23's promise. Laura bonding with Wolverine during Logan was incredibly emotional, and with Jackman's character dying at the end of the movie, it appeared that X-23 was being set up to take Logan's place in future X-Men movies, something that did not come to pass. While Deadpool 3 might not touch on the subject, the MCU's multiverse saga finale 2027's Avengers Secret Wars appears as the perfect place for Keen to return as X-23, showing that the character took over Logan's mantle as the Wolverine of her timeline. It would be the perfect way of revisiting Logan without messing with the movie, making up for X-23's likely Deadpool 3 absence. Taylor Swift as Dazzler in Deadpool 3 is generating excitement online, and fan art depicting her in the role has been trending, so let's talk about it. Thanks to a surge of new Deadpool 3 rumors, an amazing piece of fan art depicting Taylor Swift as Dazzler has been trending. Having just concluded her first US leg of the era's tour, Swift has never been more popular. As such, the mere idea of a potential cameo in the MCU has generated all kinds of excitement online, whether the rumors are true or not. To that end, a very popular piece of fan art imagining Taylor Swift as the X-Men's Dazzler has been trending amid the growing rumors that Swift will cameo as Marvel Comics' Allison Blair in Deadpool 3. Having the ability to convert sound vibrations into light and energy beams, Dazzler is also a pop sensation in Marvel's universe, not unlike Swift herself. As such, an appearance by Swift as Dazzler would certainly be fitting for the MCU. The stunning fan art from artist Stephen Defendini, posted on Instagram, can be viewed below. Could Deadpool 3 involve time travel? One of the possible plot lines for Deadpool 3 involves the use of time travel, which has been a recurring element in the Deadpool franchise. According to some rumors, Deadpool and Wolverine will team up to save the latter from his fate in Logan, using Cable's time travel device. However, this will also attract the attention of the TVA, which will chase them across the multiverse. Along the way, they will encounter different versions of themselves and other characters, such as Shatterstar and Miss Minutes. This plot synopsis is not confirmed by Marvel or the filmmakers, but it is based on some hints and speculations from various sources. And that's that for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to comment below and let us know which things impressed you the most. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.